Identity theft can happen to anyone at any time. In fact, Michigan has the sixth highest problem with identity theft. TV6's Blair Caldwell met with one victim who has made it his mission to help others who fall victim to this crime. She is more in tonight's Consumer Watch. So he looked at me kind of funny, but he knew what I meant. This is the real Robert Hurdle, but for several years, someone else was living his life with his name and money. The thief bought everything from a new car to a house and even resume help. I was talking with the lady and she said, obviously you're not the person that came in here to get the resumes written. So I think you have a problem, you ought to check your credit. And so I, when we checked our credit, we found 27 fraudulent items. It took Robert and his family 10 years to resolve the issue. He not only contacted the police about it, but also helped them find the man who stole his identity. We've learned that we were not victims under the law, so nobody had to do anything for us. So we uh, had to do everything ourselves. Robert and his family were unable to receive restitution for the $114,000 that was spent in his name because there were not any laws back in 1994 to prevent someone from stealing another's identity. But because of his resilience, now there is. He passed state and federal laws to help guide and protect victims like himself in the future. They steal your identity and they ruin your life and every, it's okay with everybody. And that's why we went to get the laws passed and testify. Now Robert and his wife own a nonprofit called ID Theft Services. They help victims through the grueling process. But why wasn't there a system in place for the victim? And now there is and we want everybody to know about it and we also want to help people. We help victims totally for free. Additionally, they work with local law enforcement agencies to help them learn about the issue. Their best advice is to check your credit regularly as well as your work history through the Social Security Office. Blair Caldwell, TV6 News, Ontonagon.